Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. We just got to Ellery Creek a few hours ago. I've just been fixing the pump again. It decided to shit itself, so luckily I did buy that backup one because this time it was completely gone. Well, actually it was a pressure switch again. Um, so I don't know what the go is with these Sureflow pumps, but they seem to, the motor works fine, I tested that, but the switch is not working. So anyway, enough of that. I'm um, heading down to the water hole now. It's pretty pretty cold still. Tried it without a wetsuit and I, w I wouldn't last long, I don't reckon. So luckily I bought the wetsuit top down to give me a bit of warmth. It's nice in the sun here. A bunch of locals are really excited in the van. Where's my shoes? Ah, uh, this comes out, it stretches out to here. Can you try to do it? I like this one. But you got to stand over there because it, because it, it'll, you yeah. stand, yeah, stand. Yeah, hold on. Wow. And then, and then you push that across and then that, that mattress comes over. Yeah. Oh, you don't nice. have to, you know. Up, up, go on. Get on the bed if you want. Oh, you got pistachios. Oh, they're my favourite. Quick go, quick go. Come on. You're sleeping in here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> We've just rocked up to this absolutely gorgeous lookout on the way to Ormiston. So we had to pull in. Check it out. Basically 360 degrees view of the West McDonald Ranges. It's 
So I was just reading about the ochre and the uses of it for the indigenous people. So traditionally red ochre would be the most valuable and boy, young boys would use it in their initiation ceremonies. Um, white and yellow would be used for you know, various other things as well. Ochre is also used as medicine, so they use it, mix it with fat from like goanna and other animals and you can rub it into your muscles to help with pain. Um, I think it said chest, chest colds, head colds. Also coating your instruments and stuff in ochre can make it resistant to termites. So that would be help, really helpful. There's a bunch of other uses. They just named a couple on the board before. Um, but yeah, it's definitely used in traditional body painting and ceremonies and things like that. So uh, it's said that the Western Aranda people still come to this place and extract ochre for all their uses. And people have, well, indigenous people have been extracting these from this site for thousands and thousands of years. So that's, well, over here is much more amazing colors. This is so beautiful. It's almost like a painting in itself. Hey guys, we just rocked up to the Ormiston Gorge Park um, campground. So we, we've just got reception here, got some internet, the first time in like three or four days, which is good. The phone has just been going ring, 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 <laughs> non-stop. So good to catch up with some people. Um, yeah, so we, I don't know, we might stay here a night or two. We'll see what happens, but we're gonna adventure to the gorge tomorrow and we're just gonna rest today, so been a big day of seeing some places um, so yeah I guess I'm just gonna chill out hey guys so we are going to be going to Ormiston Gorge today gonna do the trip um, first I think I want to rock rock up to the lookout so there's like apparently a 20 minute walk you walk up the mountain um, so I'll do that and then we'll go down to the bottom of the gorge Doesn't take long to reach uh, the lookout. Um, 15, 20 minutes and check these views out. Beautiful. And the gorge is just down here. It's pretty dry at the moment. Yeah, looks pretty dry at the moment. So you can also continue on and there's a trail that you can do all the way around to the other side of the gorge. Which, yeah, it's a pretty easy walk. That would be even easier because it's going all downhill. So maybe I'll do that and then come around the gorge at the back end. All right, I've decided to do the trail that goes down towards the river. Uh, which is obviously not a river, not a flowing gorge at the moment. It's very dry. I was just speaking to the ranger and it's been dry for a year or two. So normally the water will fill this entire valley and all the way past up there. 
But right now, as you saw, it's very dry. So a little bit disappointing, but at least there's still some water and hopefully the wet season coming up at the end of the year, hopefully it rains to fill it back up. So we've made it to the bottom. Um, there's like a little tiny little bit of water here. There's further, the main ones up that way. Um, but I'm gonna keep going that direction just for a little bit. You can see um, where the water line actually normally is. See that stain there on the wall? So we're a good three, three and a half, four meters below what that normally would be, which is quite significant. Let's just stop and have a little look at these rocks because they're the colors on them are just amazing. The patterns as well. It's really interesting. this They're amazing check these ones out all the lines looks like um that, that artist's work I can't remember the name of him I think his name is Pollock or something like that interesting eh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey guys, so we are just about to leave Ormiston to head to Red Bank Gorge. Um, yesterday when I was in the gorge, I took the door off my GoPro and forgot that I didn't put it back on because I'm not used to taking the door off. So I went in swimming with the GoPro and 10 seconds later realized I was shit. So my GoPro is currently sitting in a container of rice. Hopefully it can still work. I'm not sure if it will. Um, but yeah, that's why I didn't really, that's why that footage cut out there. <laughs> Just pulled in quickly to a lookout. Um, this looks out to Mount Sonda. So that's Mount Sonda there. And beautiful view. There's a campground over there. Pink's campground, I think it's called. Um, I think it's four wheel drive only though, so probably could get there though. It's really close to the main road. Welcome to Red Bank Gorge camping, uh, camping area. So good, just rocked up and we're gonna relax today. I'm not gonna go down to the gorge, probably gonna do that tomorrow. 
but I do want to put the drone up. Hey guys, we just rocked up to Red Bank Gorge. Another dry river, but here it is. Wow. I want to video you getting in. That's really rude. <laughs> you just got to jump in. <laughs> You've got to wait for them. It does. <laughs> Just get in. Just jump. Wow, I can still touch the bottom here. Oh, that's cold. You've just got to get in. It's still cold. And I'm in. Just get your head under. That's going to be worse. Don't you do it. <laughs> just get your head under. I'll just float. Just get your head it's under. Cold. Trust me. No. You've got to get it under. No. Oh. <laughs> She's freezing. <laughs> it's pretty cold, but it's not that cold. <laughs> The trick is you have to get your head under. Trust me, darling. <laughs> Think about time, breathe. I don't even have wet feet. Check this out. Gooey! Gooey! It's like a horror movie. I can hear your echoing voices. Oh, really? Yeah. It's actually pretty sick. Have a look. I wonder how long this goes for. Oh, wow. Oh, it gets like really skinny. Does it? Yeah. This is probably where the beast lives. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. 
What, what's what's the where's the dead things? What's that thing over there? Is that like a skeleton? Well, yeah. There's a dead frog. Dead frog. Another dead frog. There was a oh, dead. Fuck no! Nah, I'm not swimming in that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit stagnant for my liking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that one alive? Or is that one dead over there? I saw it alive. No, look. Yeah. Right. There's a little frog. It's, it's alive. Got spots on it. Yeah, it's swimming. <laughs> So that's uh, Red Bank Gorge. A little bit chilly. How are you feeling? Much better. <laughs> Oh, you'll be right. So we've just rocked up to Tyler's Pass Lookout and from here behind me, you won't be able to see it right now, but is Goss's Bluff, um, which is a massive meteorite hit to Earth. Um, I'm going to chuck the long lens, long lens on and see if I can zoom in on it. Just at the little information board, so I'll just show you guys quick little shots of the information. You guys can pause uh, the video and read it. I'll tell you all about this area better than I could ever do. So just pause your video if you want to read up on what's going on. There you go. So I think this vlog's getting pretty long now, so what I'm going to do is end it here. Um, we do want to go down to the crater, but we've heard that it's hectically um, like bumpy roads and four-wheel drive. So we'll try to do that uh, in the next episode. Um, so thank you for watching this episode, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.